Hi, I'm Michael Upchurch, and thank you for backing Cardstock Warriors. Today I'm going to show you how to print and cut your very own Kickstarter exclusive Goblin Bannerman. Okay, so some of the stuff that you're going to want to have is a hobby knife. Uh, it's really the trick to cutting out great paper models is using this and not actually using a pair of scissors. Um, I like to use one with a, a good decent grip on it because uh, you'll, you'll cut out a few models so you'll want something comfortable. Uh, some super glue. Uh, you can use a couple different types. Uh, there are super glues that have brushes. Uh, some people like to use the brushes to brush on a thin layer. Uh, personally, I prefer the gel uh, just because it, it, it doesn't dry quite as fast, so it gives me a second to, to get the models where I want them. Uh, so I use this uh, super glue gel. For your basing, um, any type of EVA foam will do. The, the larger units, I tend to want to get a decent thickness on it um, just because you'll have uh, quite a few guys on there. And uh, the smaller, if you're going to base um, just a few guys or even just one person, uh, like you're getting in the Kickstarter here, then uh, you know a thinner uh, EVA foam will be fine. And you can get this at Michael's or any craft store for like 99 cents a sheet. It's very cheap. A cutting mat because you don't want to ruin your your nice table uh, and then your cardstock warriors model now optionally uh, if you intend to hand cut these you may also want um, something to color in the edges uh, I've just got a standard uh, black color um, colored pencil but you can use uh, markers as well um, so now what we're gonna do is get started uh, cutting out this model Okay, the first thing that you're going to want to do uh, once you've got the model kind of basically cut out, and you'll do this for an entire row of figures if you've got a full set of um, cardstock warriors, is score the center line to make a nice crisp fold. And the way you do that is just using the weight only of your hand, drag the knife across the front of the cardstock, and that will actually uh, cause a nice clean fold. And we're going to glue this uh, together and that way our fronts and our backs uh, will be aligned and we'll be able to cut it out uh, just one time and get the, the same edge on both sides. So I'm going to apply a thin layer of super glue right here. And once that's applied, just going to fold the paper on top and press down. And I just rub that back and forth to make sure it gets evenly spread. You'll notice we have some here from where the top side was a little bigger than the bottom side, but that's okay. We'll just cut that piece off so it's not in our way. Now that we have the model uh, basically cut into a square, we're going to cut the edges off of the model. And when you do this, you actually don't have to get extremely precise. So uh, you'll see later there are other ways to get uh, all the way to the edge. But if you watch what I'm doing here, I'm going to leave a little bit of edging around the model. Uh, and, and in that way, I mean, you can cut them out fairly quickly and there are ways to finish the model uh, that'll make it look pretty good on the table. So I'm gonna start now and just begin cutting and just watch my cut lines. And each Cardstock Warriors model, I, I try to make sure that the outline is, is fairly simple for your cuts and will thicken out the, uh, the edges um, just to make sure that you don't have a whole lot of complicated cuts to make. Um, but I'll just cut in and begin. And there we have it. Uh, the model cut out. As you can see there's a little bit of an outline here uh, of white. Some people really like that look. Uh, it really kind of gives off the look of papercraft. And if you flip it over to the back, you'll see that we have the back of our model and the front of our model equally visible. And uh, what we'll do next is uh, if you if you don't really like the white cutout, you can just take a uh, any kind of darkly colored marker, or if there's just a few spots that you want. So I could cut out this section here, uh, but instead of making such a small cut. I may come in here and just color this in uh, and then that way it's not quite as visible on the model. Same thing with the gap between the legs here. Or I can color the entire uh, edging of the model with a pen or colored pencil in this case very quickly. And that will give it 
just a slightly different look uh, of a finished model with no white around the edges. But I quite like the white. When I, when I hand cut my models, I tend to uh, actually leave the white uh, and it really kind of gives them um, a paper craft feel. But if you want to blend in, you can always do this. And you can do the front and the back and that kind of completes the look. But if you really want to get a close cut, you can get an inexpensive cutting machine. Uh, I personally use a Silhouette uh, and it will cut your models to the quick. So I'm going to load this into the cutting machine here and we'll just let it pass through and I'll show you what it looks like coming out the other side. So once you've extracted your pre-cut model out of the, um, the cutting machine, you'll apply glue just like you did with the other model. And you want to be careful to make sure you get it on even some of the fiddly bits there. Just on one side. You'll fold up and press for just a couple seconds. Super glue will set. And now you have it cut very close just like I do most of my models. Okay, so next we're going to talk about basing. Um, now, typically I'll have uh, a large uh, pattern that I, I will, a lot of times, will use label paper. Uh, label paper uh, you can get at Office Depot, and it's basically one big sticker that goes through your printer. And, and I'll just label paper up an entire sheet of this um, with my backing uh, pattern, and then I'll, I'll cut out bases to the size that I need. But um, for this model, I've, I've gone ahead and included uh, the exact base size that you would need for a single model uh, and then with the full cardstock warriors units we'll be including these with the exact size that you'll need for the full unit um, so what i want to do here is actually leave myself a bit of room uh, on this because we're going to have to cut it out again on this eva foam um, so the next portion here you can see where i did another model earlier today i'm going to actually just back this with super glue. Make sure I get that evenly spread there. Flip it around and drop it here on my sheet. And again, I'm just gonna spread it out here. Hold it down for just a second. And then we're gonna let that dry for about 10 or 15 seconds. Now with the EVA foam, um, there's a couple things that you can do. With my big bases, I actually like to angle my knife to give myself a nice rim when I cut these out. Um, so that, that'll let the models really edge up to each other. Uh, so we're gonna do that here. One thing that you do wanna do with EVA foam though is get a nice clean long draw of the knife. So I'm gonna start well back from where I actually want to start cutting. If I press down here, I might bend the foam and I really wanna get the foam cleanly cut. So I'm gonna press in here and just draw that across the edge again at an angle. And I'm gonna do that all four sides, start a little farther away, come all the way in from the edge here and one more from the edge here. And then that's just gonna pop out. As you can see, it's kind of angled on the bottom. Now with a small base like this, uh, that might make you just a little bit wobbly, uh, especially if you're doing it this thick. Uh, but with a large unit, uh, as you can see here, with a large unit, um, we've got this nice beveled edge here on the bottom and that really helps uh, these guys get right up against each other without pushing away. Um, and as you can see, we've got uh, one of our banner men cut out in the unit already. We'll place these back. Now, uh, the next stage to basing is actually cutting about halfway through the foam. And you just want to drag this across the center, not all the way to the edge, but just far enough to give yourself a place to put your model. Uh, now, you can take the flat end of the blade if you really want to make this loose. It depends. Uh, during gameplay, you will actually remove the models uh, to model damage against your unit. Um, so for each, for each hit that you take, you'll take one of your tokens off of the base. But once that's done, whoops, once that's done, uh, 
you pop it in an angle and just press the model directly into the EVA foam. And that's really what lets him stand up. And so now he is fully based, ready to rock and roll. And if he was to be damaged in combat, I would simply pull him out of the base or place him back in if I was regaining uh, hits for some reason. And so that's how the basing system works. Um, pretty simple, easy to cut. EVA foam is a really nice material. Um, it does very nicely with a hobby knife. So um, that's him. As you can see, we've got a couple different um, varieties here. We've got a full unit and we've got a single guy. And um, that is what they look like when they're completed. As you can see with a large base, you get a lot of these guys on there. Um, they, look, they look really good. So that is the cutting tutorial for Cardstock Warriors. Which ones? These ones and this one. Yeah.